I'm glad you asked. Today we're going to talk about gunnera in the garden. A major theme of modern biology is the interconnectivity of life. That is, that no organism functions on its own, isolated from other life. Rather, all organisms, to one degree or another, depend on interactions with other species. In the garden, we have many examples of this interconnectivity, with one of the most striking examples being Gunnera tinctoria, also known as Chilean rhubarb, which is native to southern Chile and to neighboring regions of Argentina, and which can be found in the UC Botanical Garden growing in the South American section. Gunnera's leaves can be upwards of six feet in diameter, and when held upright, can be more than seven feet tall. Very, very striking examples of a leaf. Often the leaves are also armed uh, with spikes and spines, and therefore appear often to be quite primitive. In its native habitat, a gunnera grows surprisingly well, often in very nutrient-poor soils, soils that are deficient in nitrogen. The ability of gunnera to grow in such stressful soil environments depends on interconnectivity between gunnera and certain microbes known as cyanobacteria. This association, which is symbiotic, provides the gunnera with an alternative form of nitrogen based on the nitrogen-fixing ability of the microbes, thereby allowing the gunnera to grow in these marginally poor soils. Now, this ability of gunnera to establish a symbiotic nitrogen-fixing association with microbes is not unusual in the plant kingdom. We have many examples of nitrogen-fixing symbiotic association between plants and uh, microbes. What is unusual about the gunnera association is that the microorganisms come to reside in the base of the leaf, that is the petiole, where it is attached to the stem. In most plants, which have a nitrogen-fixing symbiotic association, the microbes come to reside in modified root structures, which are known as nodules. In gunnera, this is quite different. So, in the gunnera situation, we have the microbes residing in the petiole base and fixing nitrogen and allowing the plant then uh, to grow in these very nitrogen-poor, stressful environments. It's also worth noting that in soils which for some reason are already enriched in nitrogen, perhaps they were fertilized, in those situations the nitrogen fixing association is not favored and the gunnera then does not develop any symbiotic uh, relationship with microorganisms.